Today we're going to start coloring our pet portraits. Now, when you have some pet portraits traced, the first step is you're going to be outlining them with Sharpie marker. You can choose either a thick Sharpie or a thin Sharpie, depending on how small the details are on your portrait. Now, I've already tested these Sharpies out to make sure that they work. So now I'm just going to very carefully start outlining the lines that I did when I traced. Now this is really nice because our outline right now is just kind of a light outline and the Sharpie makes it stand out really nice and dark. When you're done outlining your pet, take an eraser and erase any extra smudges that might have gotten on your paper. Now we're ready to start coloring with marker. Now markers can be really great because they have beautiful bright colors, but they can also be kind of tricky because if you're not careful, they can look really scribbly and sloppy when you color with them. So we're gonna use a special technique when we're coloring with our marker today. The first thing we're gonna do is we're going to outline the area of the shape that we want to color. So I'm going to start by coloring this side of his this left side of his face, the ear area. So I'm just outlining all the way around. Now after the outline, we're gonna fill in this middle area with stripes or lines of color like this. So instead of using the point of my marker, I like to sort of use the thicker side so that my stripes turn out a little bit wider. And I'm just going to put my lines right next to each other, all going the same direction. And coloring this way makes it look a lot neater instead of having a bunch of scribbly lines that are going all different directions. These lines are going all the same direction, so it's not distracting with all the scribbles. And I don't want to color the eye and I forgot to outline that. So let's go around the eye. And then carefully finish filling in with those nice neat stripes of color. Okay, now I'm going to keep on going until my whole pet portrait is colored in. When your pet is all colored in with marker, you can choose your other portraits and color them in the same way. 